Aba, like in the Rebios, Dalla, and the Rebio, and the Rebia, like in the Rebios, and the Hala Kemios, the Kalakandra Biosher, and the Rebiola, and the Rebiala, and the Rebiosha, Kalakandra Biola, and the Rebiala, and the Rebiosher, and the Rebiosha, 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 and the Aba kanda hana hama kala kanda rabo sta na labia hala kanda rabi usha na labia shara rara nda rabi usha raba ba anda laba hala kanda rabi usha na na raba hala kimbira sta kala kanda rabi usha na na ala kimbira hasa kanda labi una labi usha kanda labi usha na na ya kanda rabi rona rabo sta kala kanda rabi usha na na raba kala kanda rabi usha na na rabi usha raba ba rana rabi usha raba ba. Our Father, your name is great God, the Yahweh Holy Spirit, Yeshua. All the glory to you. Thank you, fathers. In this moment, I am sending out a message towards your sons and daughters all around the world. Father, please pour out the Holy Spirit and give it to me wisdom and knowledge. Only let me the truth towards your sons and daughters all around the world. Whosoever is chosen one, elected one, their name in the book of life in heaven. Almighty God, please pour out the Holy Spirit. Let them see, let them listen what Holy Spirit speaks to them. And let them understand, let them be prepared themselves. Let them judge, let them distinguish. Let them prepare themselves to be raptured as a true bride of Yeshua. Mighty God, please, please, from the beginning to the end, please, please, Pour the Holy Spirit as well as cover with the precious blood of Yeshua. In this moment, I truly, truly want to witness about the Son of a Lawless. The Son of a Lawless. The Son of a Lawless, Satan, is not going anywhere yesterday, today, or tomorrow. Satan was here yesterday, and he was here to, he is here today, and Satan will be here tomorrow. Mighty God, please, please pour out the Holy Spirit. Give it to me wisdom and knowledge. Mighty God, in the name of Yeshua, I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Shalom, my name is Hanham. In this video, I would like to talk about the son of lawless, which is Satan. The son of lawless, the son of lawless, Satan, is not going anywhere. Satan was here yesterday, and Satan was Satan is here right now, and Satan will be here tomorrow. So, I would like to read the book of Revelation, chapter 21 to 15, as well as the book of Job, is chapter 1, 1 to 12. It is a uh, book of Zud, one, chapter 1, 6 to 10, and the Matthew 4, 1 to 11. As well as, I would like to read the four, read the read of the Bibles, which is about the mark of the Satan, Revelation. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Satan, it is lawless. So most important thing is the son of lawless Satan is not going anywhere yesterday, today, or tomorrow. Satan was here yesterday and is here today and will be here tomorrow. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, 1 to 15. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding the key of the Abbas, which is a hell, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he threw him into the abyss hell, and shut it, and sealed it over him, so that he would not deceive the nations any longer. Until the thousand years were completed, after these things he must be released from for a short time. Then I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been the be he beheaded because of their testimony of Yeshua and because of the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark on their forehead and on their hand and they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years the rest of the dead will not the rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. 
Blessed and holy is the one who had a part in the first resurrection. Over this second death has no power, but there will be priest of God and of Christ, and will reign with Him for a thousand years. When the thousand years are completed, Satan will be released from his prison. And will come out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. Gog and Magog the two gather them together for the war. The number of them is like the sand of the seashore, and they came up on the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. And fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil, had, devil who deceived them, was thrown into the lake of fire and the brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also. And they will be tormented day and night for ever and ever. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon it from those. Presents earth and the heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And the death and the haze gave up the haze. Hell gave up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every one of them according to their deeds. The death and the haze, hell, were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if any one's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Job, chapter one, one to twelve. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job, and that man was blameless, upright, fearing God, and turning away from evil. Seven sons and three daughters were born to him. His possessions also were seven thousand sheep, three thousand. Camels, five hundred yoke of oxen, five hundred female donkeys, and very many servants. And that man was the greatest of all the men of the east. His sons used to go and hold a feast in the house of each one on his day, and they were sent and invited their three sisters to eat and drink with them. When the days of fasting, when they When the day, the, when the days of the feasting had completed their cycle, Job would ascend and consecrate them, rising up early in the morning and offering burnt offerings according to their number of their all, of them all. For Job said, "Perhaps my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts." Does Job did? Continually, now there a day. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, "From where do you, where do you come? From where where do you come?" Then Satan answered the Lord and said, "From roaming about on the earth." And walking around on it, the Lord said to Satan, "Have you considered my servant Job? For, the, for there is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, fearing God and turning away from evil." Then Satan answered the Lord, "Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not the matter?" Hage about him and his house and all that he has, on every side, you have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions have increased in the land. 
but put forth your hand now and torch all that he has, he will surely curse you to your face. Then the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power, only do not put forth your hands on him. So Satan departed from the presence of the Lord. Jude 1, 6-10 and angels who did not keep their own domain, but abandoned their proper abode, he has kept in eternal bonds, under darkness for the judgment of the great day, just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them, since they, in the same way as this, induced in gross immorality and when offered strange flesh, are ex exhibited as an example in undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. Yet in the same ways these men also by dreaming defile the flesh and reject the authority and reviles angelic majesties. But Michael, the archangels, when he dis disputed with the devil and argued about the body of Moses, did not dare pronounce against him a really judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. But these men rebel the things which they do not understand, and the things which, ha which they know by instinct, like unreasonings, animals by these things they are destroyed matthew 4 1 to 11 then yeshua was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil and after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he then became hungry and the temper came and said to him if you are the Son of God, the command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Men shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him into the holy city and let him stand on the pinnacles of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, threw yourself down, so for it is written, He will command His angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Yeshua said to him, On the other hand it is written, so You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devils took him so to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. Then Yeshua said to him, Go, Satan, for it is written that you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came, and began to minister to him. The Bible's verse is about the mark of the Satan. It is a Revelation, book of Revelation, chapter 13, 8 to 10. And all the dwells upon the earth shall worship him, whose name are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ears, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed the with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Book of Revelation chapter 13, 15 to 18. And he had a powers to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and the cause that was many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And it causes all 
both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is a six hundred three score and six. Six, six, six. Book of Revelation, chapter 14, 9 to 13. And the third the angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the best and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without the mixture into the cup of his indignation, and it shall be tormented with the fire and the brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment as ascendeth of for ever and ever, and they have no rest the day nor night, who worship the best and his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they, they that kept the commandments of God and the faith of Yeshua. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yeah, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Revelation 16, 1, 2 And I heard the great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways. And pull out the bales of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vials upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and a grievous source upon men, which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Revelation 19:20, And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet that wrought the miracles before him, with which he received them that had re received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fires, burning with the brimstone. Revelation 24 And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that was beheaded for the witness of Yeshua and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the best, neither his image, neither had it received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Book of Revelation, chapter 20, 12 to 15. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and the hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and that whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Book of Revelation chapter 21, 6, 8 And he said unto me, It is done, I am Arpa and Omega, the beginning and the end I will give unto him that is a, thir a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcome the shells inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, and the whor whoremongers, 
and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have of theirs part in the lake which burnt with the fire and the brimstone, which is the second death. Book of Revelation chapter 21, 27. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defiled neath whatsoever were worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Book of Revelation chapter 22, 12 to 15. And behold, I am quickly... Behold, I, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Arpa and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter, and through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and the sorcerers and the whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever love and make the lie. Amen. Ara kindra brustana le ndi mona le biha kas kindra le biuna le biha sara baba enda la grandra baran ra biha le kamba kas kindra le biusha na le as kere ala randra biusha ra baba londra biha umba le kimbiri asriya. Great, 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 great. Great our fathers, your name Yahweh, Holy Spirit Yeshua. Give it to me wisdom and knowledge, pour out the Holy Spirit, and cover with the precious blood of Yeshua. Speak through me, and whosoever is watching this video, let them understand what is the Holy Spirit speak to them, and let them be prepared themselves, a true bride of Yeshua, wise virgin. In the name of Yeshua, I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, 2004, creator of the universe Yahweh visited me and he spoke to me Korean language. 너는 저리로 가야 한다. 세상 문을 닫을 시간이 다 되었는데 내 아들 딸들이 아직 나를 모른다. You must go there. The time is the close door of the earth. My son and daughters do not know me yet. And since then, almost 20 years, I walk, God Almighty walked with me and trained me. And until this, this age... Until this today, God Almighty walked with me and trained me for His, for His kingdom and glory. Trained me spiritually, mentally, all the education and everything for, for work for the kingdom of God. And the Almighty Heavenly Father showed me those numerous vision and dreams, especially. Oh, uh, in this video, I would like to witness about lawless men, which is a Satan. He was even, according to the book of the, it is Jude and the book of the Job, even from the beginning of the this world, and he was there, and even today he's here, and even tomorrow, as the book of the Revelation, Yeshua Christ is come, and he will, he will cast out, and he will go to the jail, but even one thousand years later. He will be released and deceive the people again. So Satan, lawless, the son of lawless, Satan, will not go anywhere. He was here yesterday, even here. Uh, he is here right now, and he will be here forever. So basically, people totally, totally doesn't understand about what is going on. Most important thing is brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. If you know from the top to bottom, if you know about the from the beginning to the end, nothing to be worried, nothing to be fear. So because of the you have a fear, because of the you have a worry, because you do not know what is going on. Most important thing is human who's ever listening in this video, who's ever listening about Yeshua coming, it is basically you are human. So basically, you are not rabbit, you are not squirrels, you are not tomato, you are not, you are not tree, you are not animal, you are human. So especially, our image is very miraculous. Our image as a human we, our image is look like a creator of the universe. His name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Creator of the universe image. And then especially, 
we have a visible which is a body and invisible which is a soul and in invisible which is emotion we are very very miraculously heavenly fathers created it that way most important thing is god almighty loves us more than anybody more than anything as a human god almighty Yahweh, holy spirit yeshua loves number one is a human and next is animal and next is plants this is what god showed me about them so we we love god almighty loves us so much because we are image of the god and we are miraculously created by god almighty his name is yahweh holy spirit yeshua and god almighty gave us the soul which is a life and in our body visible body and it is invisible soul as well as we have emotion very complicated the time is come our body and the soul will be isolated by god almighty creator of the universe greatest choice and power and authority and ability and his way his time and his way it will will us will isolate our body and soul so the time has come our body and soul will be isolated under heavenly father's great authority and love and grace and his time and his way so we are very miraculously created by God Almighty. God loves us, and then God sent His begotten Son, which is His name is Yeshua. He died on the cross and He shed His all blood and waters for the save us from the sin and the reconciliation in between God Almighty, His name is Yahweh, and the human. So, basically, lawless. It is uh, the son of the lawless, which is Satan. He is used to be chief of the angels. Name is Lucifer. And he was kicked kicked out from heaven because he is lawless. He's out of control. So he's lawless. So basically, if I directly say to you, basically Satan is so pissed up that basically because he kicked out, kicked out from the heaven, he cannot go back. And his follower, which is a fallen angel, as well as demons, they cannot go back to the heaven. They cannot go back to the heaven. So that is why he wants to revenge to God Almighty, which is like he is tormented human because God Almighty loves us so much. Because through our letters have a sin and the guilty iniquity and kind of it is falling apart because when we are committed a sin, we will be falling apart from the God Almighty because God is righteous, God is love, but God is righteous and God is justice as well, justice. So his, his law of the, the sin, the price of the sin is death. The price of the sin is death. That is why the spiritually, whosoever committed a sin, we cannot go back to the heaven. That is why the begotten Son of God, his name is Yeshua, born in this earth, and he died on the cross, and he shed his old blood and water, and he tried to save our soul. He is a um, Passover lamb, and he is the Son of God, and he is a true Savior, Yeshua. Especially there is a name in the name of Yeshua, and there is a four alphabet in the Hebrew, Yeshua, the meaning of the Yeshua is creator of the universe name. You have to call on to his names as a Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. There is a Yeshua, there is the meaning about creation, destruction, salvation, knowing, knowledge, experiencing. There is a great authority and ability and power in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua. And uh, there is great, great powers in the blood of Yeshua. Yahweh creator of the universe spoke to me one point of time because God Almighty showed me more than 20 years. God Almighty showed me all the vision and dreams. God is a speak to me and God spoke to me like this. The salvation is belong to only Yeshua. The salvation is belong to only Yeshua. Yeshua is a real God Almighty and he's a son of God. He's a lamb of God. He's a Passover lamb of, lamb of God. He is a real God Almighty. He's Alpha and Omega. So, Yahweh, creator of the universe, Yahweh, spoke to me, the salvation is belong to only Yeshua. 
There are lots of evil spirits attacking son of son and daughter of God. So rebuke them in the name of Yeshua and blood of Yeshua. So Yeshua is a real God Almighty. You must truly, truly believe in Yeshua and true repentance and true love in your heart and the righteous act. So the most important thing is brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. We are human, loved by God Almighty. His own image, very mysteriously, God Almighty created us. Where are we come from? What are we doing here? Where are we going now? This is most important things you must be concerned about. Where am I came from? And what am I doing right now? And where am I going? So we are all came from the heaven. So at least when you come down from the heaven, it is escorted by at least the two guardians angels. So I already mentioned to you about them. We all came from the heaven. And we have a homework to do. And we have a journey to do. On the purpose of the God Almighty, we are all here. It doesn't matter about your face colors. It doesn't matter about your age. It doesn't matter about your gender. Especially, we are so precious in front of God Almighty. Every single individual people is next to the heart. There is a soul. The size of the soul, the weight of the soul, the value of the soul is that everything is same and equals in front of the God Almighty. His name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. But the quality of the soul is different the individual. Some are worthy about the million dollars. Some are worthy about the less than a penny. It's garbage. Every single moment, God Almighty, show me the vision. God Almighty, using the Abbas, Abbas Abacus, which is like calculating about the value of the, each individual people's soul every single moment, even now. Whatever you do, yes, whatever you do, time lapse, everything is written in the book of life in heaven. God Almighty, show me about every single individual people's like from babies to the teenager and that is adult and that every single little thing is like a video, like a movie. It is time lapse wise. It is written and recorded in the book of life in heaven. God Almighty knows about everything. Creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua is great God. He is creator of the universe. He is invisible, but he is God Almighty, Almighty God. He knows about everything. How is it possible to God Almighty knows about everything? Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, the time doesn't really matter about Him, and space doesn't matter about Him. Any kind of the language doesn't matter about Him. Any kind of the formation doesn't matter about Him. Why this kind of the things God Almighty knows about everything? How do I know everything? Because God Almighty revealed Him and showed me about the secret about the spiritual world. I was middle of the sky. In the vision, middle of the sky, my two arms wide open, my two legs was wide open. I was hovering in the middle of the sky. And my spiritual ear was open, and then Almighty God, like a word of the God, was hovering all around the world, everywhere, in the airs, everywhere. And the spiritual word, the God Almighty, revealed me, and then just communicated with me spiritually, spirit to spirit. I just know automatically, so what does that mean? The voice, which is like a God word, this kind of the language, which is a pure heavenly language, is hovering all around the world, all in the air, in the waters, in the soils, in your body, it is in the flowers, it is in the, in the, everywhere, in the universe, everywhere. So God Almighty knows about everything. This word, I already explained to you, I speak in English right now. Uh, this is a Korean language. This, this is Japanese language. This is the Chinese language. Feliz Navidad, Senor, Senor, mucho muy caro. This is basically, it is a Spanish. So, como se va, se va bien, parle pas français, parle pas français, oui, je m'appelle Sonha. This is a French language. For example, at least I speaking certain language, I have to think about that, what to speak. 
But especially this language, this is a Holy Spirit language, which is what we call tongue. Secret language, this is from the heaven, pure, pure heaven language. This language is hovering all around the world, in your body, in your DNA. It is in the water, in the ocean, in the airs, and in the, in the, in the flowers, in the leaves, in the universe, everywhere is hovering. God Almighty knows about everything. God Almighty, when Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, communicate with His create, creation, could it be a life formation or element? It doesn't have any ways to language. He doesn't need a language. Korean language, or it is a Spanish, it is a Chinese, it is a, a Japanese, or it is a... Greek language, it doesn't really matter. God Almighty can communicate with anybody. God Almighty can communicate with the animals. God Almighty can communicate with the plants. And the God Almighty doesn't have any problems to communicate with anybody, anything. Because the creator of the universe has created everything. He can communicate with the spirit to spirit. And God Almighty using everything. Creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, for His kingdom and glory, God Almighty using Satan as well, even demon as well. As you heard about the book of the, and read and heard about book of Zob, it is God Almighty using everything. Top of that, God Almighty, Creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, is controller. God Almighty knows about everything. Everything is under of the God Almighty. Even Satan, he must be miserable himself. Because he is pretty much the son of a lawless. But God Almighty will not kill anybody. Nobody will die. Whosoever created who you are, whosoever listening who you are, you will not die anyhow. The formation will be changed because our physical flesh will be decay. But the thing is, our soul will be living forever. The place and whosoever you're going to leave whosoever you are going to the associated this is the differences because god almighty again abacus god almighty show me huge hands and abacus is like using abacus god almighty it is count on every single individual uh, soul god almighty even now is count on it is worthy or not worthy sheep and goat pure it is wise virgin and the foolish virgin and is a true full grain and the kelp. God Almighty will be individual peoples will judge and according to by the there's quality of the soul. Worthy going up, not worthy going down. So I already explained to you why people's going up, why people's going down. Most important thing is you must believe in Yeshua Christ as a true Savior and God Almighty. And you have to have a true faith in Yeshua as well as true repentance and true love in your heart and a true righteous act. If you fear to God, if you have the true obeying and the respect to God Almighty, He is justice, He is righteous, He is justice, He is grace, He is love, but He is justice. So God is righteous, God is holy. Holy, holy, holy Father. He is amazing. He is great. His judgment is righteous. So, if you truly obey and respect God Almighty, you must be righteous as well. So, true love in your heart. God Almighty knows about everything. In this world, we cannot see. We have a limitation. We, are, we have a limitations to time and space. And we have a gravity. We are not going to go anywhere. Unless you have a ride an airplane or maybe um, it is space spaceship or whatever, otherwise you will stick with the gravity, which is like we're not gonna go anywhere. Time and space and everything is matter and the limitations. But spiritual world, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, there isn't any limitation. And God Almighty knows about the yesterday, today, and tomorrow, beginning of the universe and. At the end of the universe, God Almighty knows about His Arpa and Omega. His name is Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. 
He doesn't have any problems to communicate with anything. He doesn't have any problem about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God Almighty knows about everything. So spiritual world, it is 100% is open. And the spiritual world doesn't matter about the space-wise or time-wise yesterday and today and tomorrow. So from a spiritual world, it is can see us, every single little things, every single movement. So again, do we have body which is like a human body which is visible but there is an invisible world which is our soul and the emotion it is invisible but is really existent our happiness or sadness or angers anxiety or depression or we saw our soul is existent so from the spiritual world they can see everything there is a spiritual world it is angels and it is demons I already told you about where the demons came from. That is, demons was deceived by. It is fallen angels with a human woman, and there was a Nephilim. Their soul, their, their, they used to be a hero in this earth, and they are, they were worshipped or they were king here, but after they die, their soul is become a demons, which is evil spirits. And through the book of the Enoch. So, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, the demons and the angels everywhere, surrounding everywhere, and especially I tell, I speak the truth, because God Almighty showed me the vision and dream, and Yeshua, I met the Yeshua Christ more than 20 times, and I met demons, I met angels, and I heard the voice of the, voice of the Creator of the universe, God Almighty, His name is Yahweh, and so the spiritual world there is a demons everywhere and they will really hate me and they try to attack me constantly so so many times even yesterday morning i was really attacked by evil spirit they are everywhere and i if i isolated with especially sleeping mode or asleep mode they're attacking me all the time that is why day and night i pray to god god almighty please protect me with the holy fires and the cover with the precious blood of yeshua please fathers protect me from the evil spirit please 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 let me awake my soul My body, my soul is belong to my body. I did not graduate my soul yet in this earth. So my soul is belong to my body. So in the dream, I cannot 100% controlling my soul. So that is why sometimes I'm never thinking about that speaking tongue. I'm a bellower, I am available to speaking tongue in my dream and whenever i am fighting with the demons and i'm speaking tongue and then i can write the hebrew language of the yeshua and the hebrew language of the yahweh with my finger i can write a cross i can make a cross as well with my finger and i can speak in tongue i can uh command to the demon as well i i'm in the name of Yeshua, I command demons bound with Yeshua's blood, go to the hell, never gonna come back forever. Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood, be clean. Yeshua's blood, I was fighting all the times with the demons, all the times in the dream. But my soul is belong to my body. I'm not graduated in my life yet. So graduated in my life in this earth. So my soul is belong to my body. So it is what it is not 100% I can control in my dream I cannot control 100% so sometimes I can think about that I can speak in tongue or sometimes I cannot think about that not 100% I can control so very frustrated and I uh, attacked by evil spirit a lot so there is a power in the name of Yeshua and the blood of Yeshua. You must, whenever when you fight with the evil spirit, do not far, do not run away from them. Evil spirit is nothing to be afraid about. You must be firm. You must be stand up yourself, and then you have to fight with them in the name of Yeshua, water of Yeshua. Rebuke them like this. 
In the name of Yeshua, I command evil spirit bond with the blood of Yeshua. Go to the hell. Never going to come back forever. Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood. Come into them. Because evil spirit, their spiritual existence, they can read your mind. They know you have a true faith in Yeshua or not. They know you have a sins or not. They know you have a true repentance or not. And they knows about your emotion, whatever you're thinking about that, evil spirit knows about because of their spiritual existence. And the spiritual world is 100% open. They can see in our body as well. So they know yesterday, today, and tomorrow about the whatevers you've done, as well as whatevers, whosoevers associated with you, your friends, your families, or your whatevers. It is the evil spirit knows about you and then they're against you with that all materials using your family members their image or whatever so your emotion your depressions your sadness anything your anxiety anything that they are try to the against you try to the commit you to the sin and guilty iniquity so this is what demons doing it evil spirits doing is to you so brothers and sisters in yeshua christ it is a uh, the son of lawless, which is Satan, was even yesterday and today and tomorrow, he will not go anywhere. And the God Almighty, the rapture event, a lot of people are like, very confused about the rapture event. Rapture event is going to be very special event. It is from the beginning of this universe, which is like a creation of the, this universe. Creator of the universe, Yahweh, was prepared about this event very very precious and very very uh, special event only one time will be occurred and like a lightning bolt it is very short period of times so yeshua christ will be appears in the sky very very short period of time like it is a surprise like it is a very very surprise just kind of the flash it's a surprise visiting and then he will rapture that he's a precious it is a true bride of yeshua 2011, November 10, I saw the tremendous vision. Yeshua is coming with the thousands and millions of the uncountable angels come to the true, come to get the true bride of Yeshua. So Yeshua is coming very, very soon. I already mentioned to you, and the vision is never fading. Even 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, the vision will not be fading. So I can explain to you even 30 years later, even 50 years later, I can explain to you whatever I saw. Whatever reason, the vision was, I was, I saw the vision 2011, November 10. Whatever reason, I was standing in the middle of the universe. Whatever reason, the whole universe was pitch dark. And then about the 11 o'clock bound, the small little tiny light was appear. I was very curious, what is that? Whenever I was a question mark about myself, the light was coming and coming and getting bigger and bigger. There was Yeshua, Christ is way front, and then behind of the Yeshua, uncountable number of the angels, they all wear the white robe as well as wing, white ring. They're coming to get the true bride of Yeshua. And then the, the screen was changed, and all of a sudden surrounding me, there was a people was surrounding me, and then I wanted to see Yeshua Christ way in front, and then I tried to see the Yeshua Christ. The power and great glory and magnificent glory was so powerful and pushing away everything. I tried to see the Yeshua Christ personally, but it was impossible because of the great glory and the magnificent glory was pushing away everything. And it was so beautiful. And I was awake up. So that is a special, it is very event. And after um, true bride of Yeshua will be raptured. And then Holy Spirit will going back to the heaven as well. And then heaven gate will be shut down. And this earth will going through the seven years tribulation. Seven years tribulation so basically, what I'm going to say to you, rapture event will be happen way before it is seven years tribulation happen. 
first of all it is a true bride of yeshua will be raptured and then it is the holy spirit will be going up and the holy spirit will shut the doors it is like it is a heaven that is the holy spirit and an entire world seven years tribulation time period creator of the universe yahweh give it to permissions to the satan whosoever left behind you do whatever you do whatever so how offer in this earth whosoever left behind you will feel so 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 sorry to yourself so that is why i encourage you you gotta be you've gotta be prepared to yourself to be rapture spiritually your soul spirit mind and heart and body first of all you must believe in yeshua as a savior as a god you must believe in yeshua and you must a true repentance a true love in your heart a true righteous act your soul spirit mind and heart and body spiritually you must be prepared your soul spirit mind and heart and body mature holy and pure and clean as a like a true true as a like a um, clean water and as a like a lighter air because a heaven is a location is at the end of the universe and hell location is under our feet so soul there is a weight our guilt ours our sin ours sin and the guilty and iniquity and unforgiveness heart no loving heart adult all kinds of the idol whatsoever's love anything more than god almighty that is all idol and there is a spiritual weight in it guilty and sin there's spiritual weight in it that is why the time has come your soul and your body is isolated your soul will be going down to the hell because too heavy that is why you have to be deal with this chunky of the heaviness about the, your soul so it is a heaven is at the end of the universe the time is come sometimes your angels come to get you or sometimes directly you can go up depends what I saw, my friend Mr. Kim's, it is escorted by his guardian's angels. And one of my family members escorted by his demons. And sometimes God Almighty directly, it is just going up. So it depends. So it is like heaven is at the end of the universe and the hell is under our feet. So this is a spiritual secret. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, the rapture event is coming very, very soon, according to God Almighty. And you must get ready yourself to be rapture. And most important thing is, Yeshua Christ, I met personally more than 20 times. Yeshua Christ received the permission letters from God Almighty. Take your bride from the, from the earth. Yeshua Christ is, uh, received the permission letter spiritual experience is specifically it is a vision is not fading i can explain to you even 50 years later in the vision i was talking with someone else woman and then tonight we're gonna sleeping in the bench outdoor bench street in the in the in the vision that was set up like this and i had a communications with her and then i was look around what is going on surrounding about the age group is a 20 to 30 which is like a very young people they don't have a lot of money and they are bundled up the four of them there is a homeless basically sleeping in the street so that much they're so poor the age group was 20 and 30. so i had a communication with the with this woman and then oh so supposed to be we are um kind of the sleeping the bench outdoor which is like it is a street and I said to her, um, I was worked so hard in my life to uh, leave about, and then uh, why we have to live like this? Because we are so poor, everybody's so poor. But the lady, so she spoke to me like this, oh, my condition is better than others because I was volunteer for the city and I'm living in the bench but other people that they're sleeping on the floor with a sleeping bag so that much the condition of the young generation 20 to age group is 20 to 30 and they are so poor and then they have to living in the street that much they're so poor 
But I had a conversation with her, and all of a sudden I wanted to go to the washroom, and I I stand up, and all of a sudden very cold wind was surrounding, and my body was going up. I knew that because I over the decade I was like it is so many rapture vision I saw. This must be rapture. Hopefully this is the true experience because so real to me. My two arm was going up and opened my two arms and it was I was like a praising God with the tongue and singing and I was going up. Way in front of my eyes, my position was two arms was open and then I was going up. Way in front of me, huge screen was open, screen. So it seems like outdoors movie theaters, like a huge screen was open. And I just like watching what's going on. And the Yeshua crisis was wear the white robe. And whatever reason Yeshua crisis on his face was it seems like uh, like ready to go for the fighting. So like it is, it seems like a little bit um, dark things and kind of seems like decorated his face. I just say very determined, determined face, very firm and ready to go. And all of a sudden, Yeshua Christ's left arm was wide, rise up. And Yeshua Christ showed me about permission letter he received from Creator of the Universe Yahweh. Take your bride from, uh, from the earth. Yeshua Christ is very proudly showed to me about the permission letters Carol, Yeshua Christ has received from the Carol Mary Yahweh. And I saw it was amazing because my two arms was open and going up. And then uh, behind of the Yeshua Christ, there was a heavenly army. They all wear the armor. So I couldn't really see the very detailed design. But the thing is, the armor was all 24 carats of the gold. It was twinkle, twinkle. It was so flesh, flesh everywhere. So it seems like 24 carats of the gold, like they wear the armor. It's like really amazing. And the left side, because left side, the angels, almost the five of them, was lined up and coming down, tried to chasing the people, whosoever chosen one. It was amazing. I hope this is real. Oh my goodness, must be rapture. This is real. I was so excited. I was, and then I was wake up. Because I have to witness about this all spiritual experience to you. Yeshua is ready to go. And it is spiritual world, angels, and they are standbys right now. And even demons is everywhere. They try to attack us as much as they can. They try to torment us. They try to let us commit the sin and guilty and iniquity. Try to make us sin as much as they can. They attack me all the time, constantly. That is why you must be fight back to them in the name of Yeshua, blood of Yeshua. You have to command to them demons. In the name of Yeshua, I command demons bound with the blood of Yeshua. Go to the hell, never going to come back forever. Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood, Yeshua's blood. You must fight back to them. So, Yeshua Christ has received the permission letter. And I do know that time is really, really near. Most important thing is I already informed to you. You must know the fact and what is going on right now. Why all kinds of the needles like they try to as much as they can. Stretch. Satan is like a Satan is hunting people's soul right now. First of all, I met the Satan five times. First, first five times, five times. Satan is very, very strong. Even if I try because protected by by God Almighty, I was praying in tongue. Even that, Satan was so strong. He was so strong. So, I met Satan about 2017. Satan spoke to me English. This year's and next year's hell gate will be open. So his voice is so dirty, voice like so dirty. Like um, and what does he look like? According to my experience about the Satan, he has a horns, two horns, and his body is like a humongous, like a giant, and his body color was red, and he has a, a wing, like looks like a bat. This is what I remember. As long distance wise, I see the Satan, and then because of spiritual world, I heard his voice. 
this year's and next year's Hellgate will be open. About that was 2017. This is what I saw the vision. So it's like his voice is so dirty. This year's and this year's and next year's Hellgate will be open. And another dream. I was going up with the Yeshua Christ, which is raptured, the Yeshua Christ, under my feet. Satan was a spoke spoke Korean language this time. He spoke like this Yahweh. 우리가 원하는 모든 영혼들이 이 땅에 모두 다 남았다. Ha 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 ha. What is that meaning is Yahweh, whosoever we wanted to have, they're all left behind in this earth. Ha 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 ha. So his voice is so dirty. So most important thing is people is called to God Almighty, Jehovah or Yahweh. But Satan, I heard the voice of the Satan. He knows about his name, God Almighty name. His name is Yahweh. He spoke to he, he uh, identifies, he speak about the creator of the universe name is Yahweh. That is why I speak in Yahweh. So he Satan wants to speak Yahweh. Yahweh. 우리가 원했던 모든 영혼들이 이 땅에 모두 다 남았다. 하하하하. <laughs> Yahweh, whosoever, whosoever we wanted, they're all left behind in this earth. Ha 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 ha. This is what Satan loves about it. That is why the Satan is like looking for and hunting people's soul through the needles and then through the mark of the beast. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, hopefully whosoever is listening, Yeshua coming channel, you are not the one the Satan's laughing about. You are not the one. That is why I'm encouraging you, wake up, wake up, wake up, be ready yourself to be rapture. You must to on guard. You must be always, always be aware about what is going on. That is why I try to do my best. I send out the message. Yeshua coming. Message is over. It is almost close to a thousand video, Korean language as well as the English as well as Spanish. It is Japanese and it is the French and Chinese. All kinds of the language. As much as I can, I try do my best to send out the message, because this is what I have to do. God Almighty, show me the vision. God Almighty, show me the vision about the 2015 because I received a great warning because I didn't do anything for His kingdom and glory and I will be left behind in tribulation timing as well as I will go to the hell. I don't want to go to hell and I don't want to be left behind because that is awful. After the rapture event has happened, an entire skies will be covered with this UFO and the aliens coming. Their existence is like a demonic existence. So this book of the Revelation chapter 9 is explained about it. The time is come. It is tribulation is come. Book of Revelation chapter 9. Even if you are seeking death, death will not come because it is not allowed. That much it is so awful time for seven years tribulation. After tribulation is over and then Yeshua Christ is what comes to uh, cast out the demon, uh, cast out the Satan, and the, he will go to the jail, which is a uh, jail so for what thousand years? A thousand years. In that times, what we call the millennium time is coming. At, there isn't the end. Nothing will be the end because it will be forever. So the millennium time is the God Almighty Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua will rule over us all everything. That is a millennium time. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, basically nobody will die. So the point is there every single individual thinks the most important thing is you must know where are you come from and you must know what are you doing here. You must know where are you gonna where where are you going? Most important thing is you must there every single individual choice. Where are you going to live forever? With who? So you are righteous and you are living with the God Almighty, Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, with the holy angels as well as righteous peoples forever in heaven and penthouse and be with the God Almighty forever. Or you choose the evil things and you're going to be a live with the Satan and demons and the lawless peoples and the down pit and with the um, uh, snakes and uh, lawless peoples forever. Choice is yours. Creator of the universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua created everything, even plants, even tree, 
or the flowers or um, animals or human every single individuals people every single individuals people and plants or flowers tree or animals we have a free wills to choose to good or evil so remember every single individual people's choice nothing we can judge one another we don't have any authority to judge one another but each individual's people's choice and each individual's people's choice and then deed and god almighty will judge individuals and every single individual's things is gonna be written in the book of life in heaven brothers and sisters in yeshua christ again lawless it is the son of lawless which is satan will not go he was yesterday and he's here right now and he will be even tomorrow and forever nobody will die just to change the our formation if you know from the beginning to the end nothing to be fear nothing to be worry and the yeshua is coming very very soon most important thing is what is going on you must disinfect number one the cloud is coming down to the earth number two you can see the super moon and super sun every day number three you can see the pink sky number four chemtrail chmtl ail spreading all around the world number five the moon is round and round it is a spinning what is going on nibiru and planet is coming behind of the sun right now and this is right now is hovering in the sky so take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera wherever you stand so no more hiding we can they cannot hide anymore because it is very visible now europe japan it is a france or it is norway and the uh, usa it is everywhere it is showing right take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera so it doesn't really matter it is showing so brothers and sisters in yeshua christ God Almighty showed me the vision about Nibiru and planet is coming behind of the sun very fast. So, God Almighty showed me the vision 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. Nibiru and planet is coming. White planet, red planet. It is a super large red planet. Metallic color, disc shape of the planet is coming, coming, coming. So it is a showing now. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera. You, most important thing is you must get ready yourself to be raptured as a true bride of Yeshua spiritually. So most important thing is you must aware and awake all the time spiritually. Yeshua is coming. I do not know time and hours, but Yeshua is coming very, very soon. Be ready yourself to be raptured. Shalom.